hip drop yeah, tackle. Hip drop so tackle. That com- that is uh, going to be banned this upcoming season yep. from the NFL. We definitely saw a lot of people lose their ACLs to that and this angles. year. Yep. Ken and Drake. Um, yeah, and uh, Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews yeah, scared here. me a little bit. He was on the fantasy team. Fuck me. Um, you won though, right? I did our league, but I ended yep. up losing another league where I had him too. I had him in every league. He was Congrats. one of the players that. Um, yeah, no, it was nice. It was a good year for me. Uh, <laughs> I did win in two of the three leagues I was in. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, hip drop tackle. So that is going to be banned. I want to get your opinion on that, Paul. Anybody in the comments, let me know just from a viewing standpoint and from a gameplay standpoint, how much do you think this is going to affect the game on Sundays? Um, so yeah, how do you feel about the So rule unpopular change? opinion, I guess. I, I'm in favor of the rule change. Um, I think that like the play against Mark Andrews, there was a clear path to be able to get his shoulders of the, the ta- I forget who was making the tackle for the Bengals, but he had a clear path to be able to get his shoulder into the hip and head around in front and, and make a driving tackle. And then instead what he did was he grabbed around the hips, threw his weight down and then, and then landed on top of the, the knees and ankles of Mark Andrews and, and twisted mm. his knee and blew his knee out. Yeah. So I think that there is a way to tackle people without doing that. I think that there's going to be a strong emphasis in this year, which they always do. And everyone's going to get loud. There's going to be tackles that you don't think that that's what it is, but they're also going, but they're obviously going to go ahead and throw it. It's just like with the leading with the head targeting. You've seen those penalties go down over the past few years Mm -hmm. because it's not being as strictly enforced because it's understood. And we all understand now why why those rules are in place. So yes, football is supposed to be a gladiator sport. Yes. Football players are tough men, but at the same time, they're fucking human beings <laughs> who also have to go through the rehab. They also have to go through the psychological trauma of it. they are also the ones who, after they they're done giving you enjoyment of watching them play and you move on to the next guy who came in having to live for the next, hopefully 50, 60 years. But with the, knee issues and the ankle issues that are already going to come with football that you don't need unnecessary tackles to add to it. So I think that there is a way to make the safer and still keep tackles. I mean, you don't, those hits are not big hits. Sure. Going. I mean, we, we took away, uh, uh, grabbing up the name plate horse collar tackle for the same type of reason. It was taking knees out. Yeah. So how much of this do you think creates an advantage for the offense though? An offensive player. Um, A lot of this is specific, maybe three, four plays a game. Okay. Each of those are just in, for all of them combined. Uh, uh, what do you mean? Well, like a hip drop tackle. Like yeah. in some cases, I'm sure it is possible, but uh, like to put yourself in the position where you're doing a, 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 the like t- uh, tackling Mark Andrews the correct way, for example, probably gives him a little bit more of an a uh, opportunity to use his own strength and leverage to possibly be able to get you off of him at that point. Yeah. Um. So I just wonder, you know, that how much of a uh, advantage does that not necessarily take away from the defense, but give to the offense. If it's not enforced, then I don't really see as either side having an advantage. That's why I say the defense doesn't even have an advantage at this point. You're taking away. You're only kind of like adding, um, you know, these roadblocks to the defense and then, you know, creating an advantage, I think pretty clearly for the offense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I get, I mean, I guess, especially when you compound, no, compound I mean, all these, cause like, I mean, more times than not, they these rules that at least the big rules that get passed that we really focus on are ones that benefit the offense. So you don't get, I mean, I, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't, I can't think of. Well, I mean, can't think of many new ones that benefit the defense. I mean, yeah, but again, yeah, I mean the the defense is the attacker. Okay, so I mean sure. the rules are going to favor. I'm, so I mean, I mean not it's not illegal, like we allow holding. I, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question here. So, what if we? Why not make it illegal for a offensive player to um, truck people at all? Like, for example, we just saw when the fucking um, uh, what happened to Demar Hamlin. That's what happened, right? He put his head in his chest. Yeah. Am I right on that? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of fuzzy on that. Yeah. That, but either way, that's a one and. Well, I mean, but obviously, forever. But obviously, but, it's dangerous. I and mean, I, and I mean, even people is different than than yeah. you than you using a way to under to just completely take someone's weight from underneath them, and and yeah. then you see what happens with the knees. Well, hey, I mean, I'm using that as an so, example. Though. That is a case where you could obviously fucking shatter somebody's chest. Yeah, like Derrick Henry could shatter a fucking man's chest. I he ran through. No, that's. I mean, you got pads there, but okay. I mean, let I, him, I, let I, him I, run through you. We can just <laughs> stretch it, but. Yeah. I think if they were to take away well, offensive even, holding, then yeah. yeah, you can say that they're making rules for the offense to score. 
I think this is enough people were losing knees and ankles mm. to say, hey, listen, I think we can take this out of the game and still have a productive and competitive and competitive football game. Okay. So, but then like let's think about like the quarterbacks not being able to be hit underneath their legs in the pocket, for example. Like we didn't have a lot of people get hurt that way. People did get hurt. No, that, but that, not a that was the Brady rule. That yeah. was that was definitely Brady blew his knee out. Yeah. Which again, if you stand in that pocket and you know that you're putting all your weight on your knee and sure. then someone just comes and just and again, it's it's when it's intentional. It's when sure. you you have a path to to make another play, and instead yeah. you choose to go in someone's season or career, and sure. it's like that's where. But that's, you see how that play could be made, and it obviously gets called all the time. Where the intention isn't to end somebody's career; the intention is just to get the quarterback down. Well, uh, and it gets well, well, they have it that if you're getting blocked or you're falling into it, then it doesn't count. Then it's not a flag. Yeah, well, I mean, so, I've seen people grab people all like I think Mark, not Mark, uh, Max Crosby. I want to say I saw a play where he got this. His was bad. Yeah, he was yeah. laying. I think he was already laying on the ground. If yeah, I remember yeah, his his yeah. wasn't good. Yeah. Uh, but again, um, and also like not being able to land on the quarterback, for example, like yeah, you tackle, not be able to follow again, through. That's Aaron Rodgers. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, no, that that things, was too much. But these things start to compound. I mean, these yeah. things are 15 yard fucking penalties when they get called. Well, um, then, then we then we should argue and complain about the the weight on a on a quarterback. Instead of uh, understanding that this one is a problem, I mean the weight on the quarterback—that's just part of it. I mean, yeah, bad, bad. I don't have a. Come on, that's a joke. <laughs> it's a fucking joke. Well, here real quick, Flu says ahead. human beings. Uh, just because you said earlier, you're like they're human beings. Oh uh, yeah, my my pronunciation. Human beings. Beings. Um, <laughs> Uh, one Amazing. player, one player on the kickoff team gets a large spiked <laughs> metal glove and gets the backhand. Uh, oh, sack that player! As fuck, not where I thought you were going oh with that. God. That's what is this? You have a it's sick mind, fair. brother. Uh, it's the kickoff fair, was enough. pretty cool too. I don't. I, oh, that being changed, we should talk about. I, I, but, I like keeping the kid. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I do see like it's almost like the individual rules. I don't have an issue with. It's just that you know it does. I can see how they could become kind of compounding, and you're putting. You're putting the defensive player in a position where they have to dial back on playing with their instincts because it's they're making it more and more cerebral. I mean, just the just them falling on the ground and grabbing yeah. quarterback's leg now gives up. A, if that's a third and long, for example, you just gave them a first down. Well, yeah. Completely changed the the landscape of the game. That that, uh, that goes with when yeah. the, when you touch the quarterback's head and it's a 15 yard penalty and it's like give me a, a uh, hand yeah. touching the helmet is not a. Well, what is issue. it when they fall on them? Because that's something that you agreed that was like, oh, okay, that's bullshit. Isn't that 15 yards or am I? Yeah, no, that? no, it is. Yeah, okay. it's 15. Gotcha. Yeah, um, so I mean, but, these so, are game changing possible. So with the hip drop, I guess what they're saying is it's it's more of a. Uh, so they have something in writing to find players. Gotcha. So like, hey, to listen, find. yeah, to find them. So what? I guess there's a couple of plays, and and I guess what they were saying the competition committee they brought it forward and everything was that not saying that it was coached on teams, but you can see where it's not gotcha. damned by coaching okay. staffs and teams who use this technique, and it's the same technique as the as the horse collar just at the waist mm. so that's where it's like they're yeah. they're trying there is no words like 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 like, like verbiage for it gotcha. or so now they have in a writing this is something i don't I, they were talking about how it's not really gonna be something penalized maybe in the preseason okay but again i don't know how big they, they always empathize shit hard the first year and then after that it's it's the kind of just goes with the flow because people understand yeah so again nobody likes to see our favorite players get their fucking knees twisted out <laughs> Okay, yeah, and this is the way the, the the eliminate this. So. Absolutely. Uh, here, let's move on. 